So here we have it. I finally got the uh, plastic off. There was plastic, so that video is turned into an homage to Kent Pribernow from Tua, who unboxed the Mighty Mouse or Magic Mouse last week and completely destroyed the packaging in the process because he didn't read the peel now. In my defense, there is no peel now sticker on this one, um, so or peel here rather. So mm, I, I feel I feel as though he still is the fool. But whatever, that's cool. So here you have it, um, my fake iPhones. This one's actually the real one, but it sort of doesn't work. Um, and I just use it for random stuff like reprogramming the screen. Um, anyways, so here it is. As you can see, it has a nice shiny screen. It is glass. It's a little cool to the touch. Um, and the only thing that I'm noticing different is, is that it sits kind of it's slightly thinner. You can't really tell. It's slightly thinner. It's not quite as long when you go like this. You can't tell from a picture, but you can feel it. It's just not quite as big. And width-wise, it's not as wide either. So it's just a little bit smaller. It's like a, but hardly noticeable. You're definitely not going to notice if it's in somebody's hand. And you're definitely not going to know if it's hurling off a balcony um, heading down towards the street five stories below, which mine, one of these will probably be doing later on this evening in an SCTV style. Um, throwing of the iPhones. Anyways, um, that is pretty much it. Everything else uh, looks pretty good. Oh, that doesn't flick. Maybe I'll force it like Kent Priber now. Oh, shit. No, no, it doesn't. So, um, nothing, uh, nothing happens. And, um, yeah, aside from that, pretty simple, straightforward. I don't even know why I've wasted this much time talking about a piece of fake iPhone, but I have. So, enjoy, and, uh, there you have it.